This morning's woman's doctor as we age, we don't move as well, but more people are wishing to stay active later in life. And if that's the case for you, joint replacement is an option. Mercy Medical Center orthopedic surgeon Dr. Kamala Littleton says whether or not to have a knee or hip replaced is often an, a personal decision. There may not be a right or wrong answer. It all really just depends on how active that you'd like to be uh, in those golden years. Surgery can have a very positive impact on a patient's lifestyle, but they do have to do the work. And Dr. Kamala Littleton is joining us now with more information. Good morning, thanks for coming in. All right, sure. So you say they have to do the work. What is this work? Involved? So so the work is, uh, I think it's two different things. One is preparation ahead of time. You know who's going to take care of you. You have your house set up in the right way and you know who's going to take you to physical therapy if you need to go to therapy. Mm -hmm. So that's the, that's the part beforehand that you need to do. Afterwards, uh, particularly for knee replacement, you need to do your physical therapy and it will hurt. And, and as you get better, it still hurts because you're, you're constantly challenging yourself. And so if you're mentally prepared for all that and you've, you've done your homework, then your success is is much more predictable. I see. So is there a lot of downtime then afterwards, it sounds like? So for, for hip replacement, not much at all. Okay. I mean, a hip replacement is a very easy surgery. I mean, it's a big surgery, but there's not a lot of pain afterwards. There's not a lot of physical therapy. But for a knee replacement, a little bit more downtime, anywhere from four to eight weeks uh, that people will be off work. Okay. How does someone know that it's time to make this decision as opposed to this is just, I'm getting older and, and I'm not moving as fast. Well, uh, again, it's, it's different for different people. Some people are, are using a cane or a walker and they really can't do things and that's when they have the surgery. Other people are much more active and, and they ne don't necessarily go to a cane, but now they can't, they can't swim or they can't bike or they can't do the things they like to do. Mm. And so it's an it's a earlier decision for them. Right, and you say it's not necessarily for folks that are into the golden years, right? No, I mean, uh, you know, many patients unfortunately have really bad arthritis that affects their life, that, that really limits their life at a much younger age. And, and where we used to wait till you were 65, now, if it's affecting your life that much, go ahead and do it. Yeah, what are, maybe what's the primary concern, I guess, for someone considering the surgery? I, I think the, the, the biggest thing for a younger person is that the, there is a lifespan on a, a joint replacement. And so if you're 45 or 50, there's a good chance you'll need to have another surgery mm -hmm. later in life. Interesting, and for an older individual, maybe? Older people, I think that they're mostly scared of the pain and, um, and you know, and a big surgery and really what to expect afterwards. Yeah, but it certainly has its benefits. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Well, if you have any other questions or if you'd like a referral, you can call 1-800-MD-MERCY. Thank you for coming. Thanks in. so much.